Okay, if I'm being honest, I've been fortunate. Got a good job, I make pretty good money, but I depend on my paycheck every other week. And I know many folks out there are just one or two paychecks away from being in pretty bad shape, perhaps even homeless. And then starting to realize that we're a hair away from being homeless. Take this Stockton family of four, the Tacardens, for example. In July, Anthony had a debilitating stroke and had to leave his job as a counselor to foster kids. His wife, Desiree, had to quit her job as an office assistant to care for Anthony full time. They have a 14-year-old son, Anthony Jr., and 9-year-old daughter, Liliana. The family is two months behind in rent. $500 a month extra would mean a lot. That would probably help us save our home right now, save uh, somewhere stable for our kids to be. The Tacardens are just the kind of family looking to learn more about the new Lift the Middle Class Act. It was just suggested today by California Senator Kamala Harris. What would it do? Well, take a look up there. Several things. It would provide up to $6,000 a year per family in the form of a refundable tax credit. That tax credit would apply to households earning under $100,000 a year. It would provide up to $3,000 for single folks earning under $50,000 a year. So that means families could receive up to $500 per month and individuals could receive up to $250 per month. Sounds nice, right? But we all know an election is coming up and we asked you on Facebook, do you feel like this is a stunt or a solution? There were a lot of people like Patrick who feel it is a pure stunt. Others were like Jeffrey. He said, great, but who's gonna pay for it? And you know, that's a good question. To be honest, that much is not clear at this point, but this is very similar to the basic income project that will soon launch in Stockton. 1,000 mailers will be randomly sent out to, in November to neighborhoods across the city where the median income is at or below $46,000. 100 people will then be randomly selected by computer. Mayor Michael Tubbs says in their case, the $1.5 million to be given away is all donated and not from taxpayer money. We took Richard's question to the program director. Why not send money to different families each month? by designating the money to one recipient for an extended amount of time, we're really hoping to smooth out the persistent volatility that households experience. Stockton plans to select people in January for the program and the first payments will then go out in February of next year. Will it prove to be a solution for families like the Tacadans? Only time will tell, but Kamala Harris shows this idea is starting to get national attention. And so all eyes will be on Stockton to see how this all unfolds.